party leader, Kalonzo Msioka, made clear his intentions to leave or rather exit the Azimio One Kenya coalition. The party members are now asking the former vice president to rethink or reconsider his decision and rejoin the Azimio coalition. This comes after Kalonzo named his running mate, uh, stating clearly that he will be on the ballot come August 9th. Look Up TV's Brian Amwai spoke to lawyer Dunstan Omari on Kalonzo's possible options and his next move. Take a look at this compilation. I had not been messed up under this legal situation. I would have convinced my brother Gideon to be my running mate. In the political arena, he has been branded a watermelon based on his quickness to change his political stand, something that has been evident, especially with the moves the former vice president has been making, with the latter being leaving Azimio La Umoja One Kenya coalition and choosing to go all the way to the presidency by naming his running mate Andrew Sunkuli. However, his party has called on him to reconsider his decision to vie, urging him to exhaust all dispute resolution mechanisms within the coalition. But what we have decided and we have discussed as leaders is that, you see, the country is greater also than WIPA itself. And that because we had already agreed to work under the Azimio One Kenya Alliance, that maybe uh, it is time that the, we exhaust all the options that were available under the Azimio One Kenya Alliance. Because there is a dispute uh, resolution mechanism under that alliance. So we are asking our party leader that we do reconsider uh, the, possib the possibility of having further discussions on this coalition arrangement. Lawyer Dunstan Omari says Kalonzo's move in the political arena is calculated to help him raise his demand ahead of the August polls, adding that wherever he goes, he guarantees a large chunk of the Lower Eastern vote. The politics of Kalonzo seems to be mesmerizing both, both parties.